Let's just, just listen. I've got to tell you, mate. Fucking murder. A plush, mate. A double plush. And why do you have to do this on my shift? Maybe because you're the most reasonable supervisor here. Cut the crap, Ruth. We both know you hate me more than anybody else in this place. Still, does it make you less reasonable? True. Because this time I'm going to report you to the Chief about your intentions to escape. That is reasonable, don't you think? I'm not trying to escape. I just have to see my dad. He's waiting outside C Block. Why should I care? I'm not sticking my neck out for you. The last time I did that, I got myself into deep trouble. I'm not making the same mistake twice. Exactly. It was your fault for getting yourself into trouble and it was your mistake getting busted with that bottle. Whatever. I'm not getting busted again, okay? Now you better get back to the screening room before I report you to the chief. You mean your uncle? He'll make sure you're put under more strict supervision. Don't complicate things, Gail. I'll just be back. I'm just trying to go to see my dad. Listen, I know your father's prohibited from visiting you. There is no way you're leaving the premises tonight. You seem to know a lot about my case. Information can be a powerful weapon, especially against thieves like you are. Funny you mentioned that. A thief like myself always has a nest up her sleeve. Do you recall losing your cell phone and then suddenly finding it like it was never gone? Information, you're right, it can be powerful. What do you know? There are a few photos that might shock your uncle. I agree, he doesn't have to know unless you bust me over this wall. Did you copy them? They're on MySpace. If you pretend you didn't see me, I'll pretend I didn't see those pretty photos of you and I'll delete them. And why should I trust a thief's word like yours? You should never trust a thief. But under this current circumstance, well, I don't think you have a choice. <laughs>